Well, what do you make of these latest developments and where this is going next? Ultimately, it's up to a judge to decide, but can you quite get your head around the fact that there allegedly are top secret documents that have been taken from the White House to a private residence by a former president? Well, given that it's Donald Trump we're talking about, I I'm not surprised in the slightest, uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if there were more highly classified documents at Bedminster or some, some other uh, residents of his. Uh, I just think it's important that everybody, whether they're pro-Trump or anti-Trump or whatever their position is, to try and take a deep breath here, let this process play out. You know, the, 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 the filing that was done last night in the United States that uh, included that picture that you've shown there and a lot of information about the documents and about uh, uh, Trump's uh, obstruction is the word they use, the refusal to turn them over to the National Archives, is revealing bit by bit uh, the seriousness of the case. And uh, we, we don't know all the details yet. It could be very, very serious. But my uh, strong urging to everybody is stay calm. Let's let it play out. We've got due process in the United States. The facts will come out here, but let's not jump to conclusions that the Justice Department is an arm of the Democratic Party uh, on the one hand or the Trump ought to go to jail tomorrow on the other. Uh, we don't know enough at this point to, to have an informed judgment. As I say, more is coming out, and it's been negative for Trump without any doubt in my mind. But But we don't have the full story. We need to be aware of that. Yeah, we don't have the full story. And as you said, it's important for it, there to be the time for due process to, to, to run its course. But in terms of the seriousness of what we're seeing, again, with Donald Trump, you know, people tend to gloss over it, treat it as a bit of a joke. But just how serious this, is this? And how serious could it be for Donald Trump as an individual? Because he's, he could face criminal charges. Right. Well, the central question is what's in these 320 or so uh, classified documents? And uh, it's a large number of documents uh, not to be in a secure location. Uh, but we, we really need to see what's in the documents uh, to, to get a better sense of it. And the uh, director of national intelligence in the United States is now doing, in effect, a damage assessment of it. And I think we need to await the outcome of that analysis. For Trump himself, I think it could be dangerous. Uh, I would just say this is a matter of politics. You know, uh, when an ordinary citizen is in that kind of circumstance uh, and justice uh, felt there was uh, legitimate ground to prosecute, I think they just go ahead and do it. But with a former president, you have to acknowledge the reality. And you may not like it, but it is a reality that uh, he's a very high profile figure. Uh, and if the Justice Department decides to proceed here, it better be more than certain uh, that it can prove its case. It, if it if it if it goes after Trump or his associates, uh, it better be very sure it's going to win in court. Uh, John Bolton, former U.S. National Security Advisor, always good to talk. Thank you for your time this afternoon here on Sky News.